So apparently, I'm not, well, I guess there's no really, no apparently to it because it's happened. But, um, the baby has said some really peculiar, 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 peculiar things about the LGBT community and one of his shows. So we are absolutely, positively going to see what the f fuck everything, we'll see what the fuck's wrong with this motherfucker. You're literally, I'm, ah! Y'all are stressing, I can't load a gun with a soda! I'm sick and tired of you keeping on living. Relax! Your hurts! Your hurts! Get, get, get out of here! I'm not gonna look at you. Nope, stop, I'm not ready to look at you yet. There's a developing topic that I absolutely wanted to... What the fuck? So before all this, uh, I've got a couple of new followers. Shout out to I'm in Limbo. Uh, he's followed me on Instagram and now follows me on Twitch. Okay, where's the alert? There we go. Fucking there it is. Alright. <laughs> shout out to Comet. Comet. And shout out to... Oh, Rarity. Sorry if I slaughtered that name, but shout out to them as well for following me. Thanks for following me. Um, as the title in the description says, we're going to be talking about, I guess, some shit that's popping off. So apparently, I'm not, well, I guess there's no really, no apparently to it because it's happened. But, um,. The baby has said some really peculiar, 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 peculiar things about the LGBT community and one of his shows. So we are absolutely, positively going to see what the fuck everything, see what the fuck's wrong with this motherfucker and why is he so mean? So anyways, so, so far, information that I have gotten is... He talked down on the LGBT LGBT community and um, also downplayed or upplayed AIDS or gave it a wrong stigma and uh, pretty much was just being a fucking dickhead. Lil Nas is here to accompany me, as you can see. He is right there in the in the mirror or whatever. What the fuck? Why am I not in front of this? There's no fucking crosswalk slit. All right, so let's get down to this shit. Let's see what the fuck this motherfucker's problem is. Rolling loud rant, is that what it is? So is this gonna fucking be the actual video? Alright, we'll be watching this, uh, the Bellator MMA live on Twitch on whatever not it's playing. So go ahead and copy them. We're absolutely not gonna do that. Okay, you guys, so first let me apologize for my You stupid bitch. I want the raw footage. I want the raw footage. I don't want fucking people talking about it. I hate this shit. This look like it. There we go. Thank you. You know what? If this is just the fucking raw video, then I'm giving this video a thumbs up. What? Oh, bitch, somebody threw a shoe at him for no fucking reason. What the hell? Put a hand in the air with a cell phone and then turn the fucking light on if you special too. Oh, I threw that in. Who the fuck threw that motherfucking <laughs> busted ass goddamn Adidas? Adidas, that's you? You the leader of the mosh pit? You didn't show up today with HIV? Damn. What a way to fucking start that off. Okay, so maybe it's gonna show some of those videos. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them deadly sexual transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two, three weeks, put a cell phone light in the air. That make you die in two or three weeks, put your cell phone lines up? What? What? What even? <laughs> what? What even? <laughs> what even started this? Like, <laughs> why did he even say that? I want, I wish there was a whole fucking video. Lady, if you put like water. If your pussy smells like water. Put a cell phone light in the uh fellas. Lights up, fellas. Okay, so here where it gets down to the nitty gritty. So first off, he fucking was an asshole towards AIDS. 
Don't know what the fuck that was about. That was some weird-ass fucking shade. Before I even go any further into this, that alone... That alone is a fucking dick move, and no one should be defending him in any case. <laughs> I don't know how that was fucking, uh, what is it called? Instigated? That's a really fucking weird thing to just randomly say. <laughs> if you don't have HIV, put your hand- what? You don't even have to fuck to get HIV. People just get it from needles and shit. You're fucking being a dick for no goddamn reason. All fucking ready. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them deadly sexual transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two, three weeks, put a cell phone light in the air. What? Why? <laughs> and there's people fucking, like, defending this motherfucker. How can... Okay. <laughs> like, these people. Like, people with AIDS, people with HIV have a fucking a transmitted disease. It can be a sexually transmitted disease for one, yeah, but also you can get it different fucking ways. And it's just, <laughs> like, <it's, laughs> what? That's like me hosting a fucking show and being like, hey, if you, uh, if you ain't got cancer, put your light in the air. Being a dick for no fucking reason, that's fucking stupid. And then something about pussy t smelling like water, I don't know about, I wouldn't know about that. Lady, if you like water, put a cell phone light in the air. He's so fucking weird. This is this this is where this is where it gets juicy. Fellas, if you ain't suck in the parking lot, put your cell phone like that. Let's be real. You ain't sucking dick out in the park. Okay, so that wasn't really so. Okay, I'm not as offended by that, but my mind is. I see how people are offended by that. I guess I'm not too offended about that because to me, he's just like, hey, I mean, if you're if you're not happening. To be sucking a dick in the parking lot. Go ahead, put your lights up. Yeah, keep it real. Some of y'all are suspect as a motherfucker. Let's be real. Some of y'all are suspect as a motherfucker. Let's be real. Okay, well that's going a little bit too deep. Well, at least was that it? Was that it? I just want the fucking video, bro. I get somebody out here a million dollars if they can guess who went here. I got a million dollars right now. If you could guess who, Photon Stunner, who you? T Pain. Who? T Pain. Who? I know who that is. Who is that? I just want to see the actual video. <laughs> little Nas X. People also watched Little Nas X right after this, <laughs> just to let y'all know. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them deadly sexual transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two, three weeks, put a cell phone like that up. See, this is the, th that right there, <laughs> that right there is what, like, kind of does it for me. It's, I'm not even necessarily mad at what he said about the gay community or the potentially offensive thing he said about, but th that right there was just like, wow. Why that does, like why why did you decide to just be a dick for no reason <laughs> towards the people with AIDS and HIV? Why? Why? Fellas, if you ain't sucking nigga dick in the parking lot, put your cell phone like Let's be real about this shit. Wait. Oh, if you di oh. oh. Okay. I'm slightly offended offended now because he said if you didn't so if you're if you if you suck somebody's dick, don't put your lot up. Okay, so that is pretty. F and and the bad thing, we'll get to his response in a minute. So yeah, uh, fuck him. I've already took all his like fucking songs and shit off my Spotify because fuck this motherfucker. So it's 2021 and it's still cool to to just <laughs> to just do this. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, put a lot, raise your hand if you're not gay. This motherfucker's so goddamn immature. What pisses me off, I was having a TikTok argument with someone. <laughs> what pisses me off is there's still people defending this motherfucker. Like, you got people saying, oh, well, he apologized, which we're gonna get to it. I have not listened to the response video yet, so we'll see what the fuck he says. But there's still people defending this motherfucker. Like, if y'all don't understand how he's being a fucking asshole, then I don't. I don't understand what kind of life y'all be living. In this day and age and shit like that, like, we absolutely have minorities that people live different ways, people, like, out of the norm, um, 
different characteristics, sexuality, races, all this other shit. And the fact that this motherfucker literally got famous off of a hit song that uh, was pretty much about the injustice, inequality, and shit like that. The fact that he made a hit song on that. Like, he's a minority. The HIV AIDS community is a minority. The LGBT community are minorities. And the song that literally fucking made you famous, let's be real, the song that made you famous, you're being a hypocrite now. Because now you're putting, now you're talking shit about other minorities. So, anybody who's fucking defending this motherfucker, anybody who's trying to, trying to defend him in any fucking way, like, live a better life because this is a dickhead. Like, this is a motherfucker who felt like he could say that and it'd be okay. And it, it's, it's not. Like, I mean, he can, it's fucking freedom of speech. He can say what the fuck he wants to, but also you can't tell people to be okay with it. They can feel how the fuck they want to. And people are pissed off. That's why people are fucking canceling him or whatever. I'm gonna address this week. Okay, so I guess this goes right into the fucking response, which I'll see if I can find the longer version, but let's let's see what he he says. Guess internet shit one time and I'm gonna get back to giving my love to my fans. See what I'm saying? Cause what me and my fans do at the live show, it don't concern you niggas on the internet or you So you're a dumbass for that because it does. You're literally, you're in a social media age now, bro. Let's let let's be fucking real here. Bit of bitches on the internet. It's not y'all business. You know what I'm saying? Like what I do at a live show is for the audience at the live show. It'll never. But it's not for the people with AIDS. Okay, so don't put your lot up. Uh, it's not for the people sucking dick. Don't put your lot up. And it's not for the women whose vagina doesn't smell like water. So. So don't. So that that's only for them. I want y'all to know that's the only people allowed at his shows. Okay, can't suck dick. Sorry, uh, your your pussy has to smell like water. Okay, and then you can't have HIV or AIDS. He should really. Uh, he should give out forms actually at his next show just to make sure it'd be like, hey, these are the only people that's allowed at my show. But continue. Ever translate correctly to somebody looking at. A little five, six second clip from the goddamn crib. But also, what else was there to that clip that needed to be analyzed? <laughs> what else, like, what else was there that you could possibly analyze other than what you fucking said? It was a raw fucking video. It wasn't edited. It wasn't like, it was just someone said, oh, I'm on Snapchat. Bam, start recording. It was that. Like, go fuck yourself. Stop trying to stop. Just stop. <laughs> On their phone, it just don't work like that. Like, you know, because regardless of what you motherfuckers talking about, how the internet didn't twist it up my motherfucking word. They didn't twist up your words. What you said was absolutely what came out of your fucking mouth. <laughs> this motherfucker. Me and all my fans at the show. The gay ones and the straight ones, we turned the fuck up. I'm talking about my boy that was at the front of the stage, left over there by where I jumped at. Ask him, he got clips all on his shit. The whole night was recording. We would turn the whole night. So, but no recording. Like, what are you fucking talking about at this point? You completely avoided the fucking, uh, the part where you downgraded <laughs> people. For no fucking reason, may I add. My boy had the crop top on. Okay, so is that does that make him gay? <laughs> is he gay? Front row, yeah, out there in that in that jungle in that water. Okay. Yeah, he out there. He's standing on the rail. Got them cutting up. He words. I saw him. I'm I'm wrapping them bitches with him. So guess what? Uh, just because you wear a crop top, top what? Just because you wear a crop top does not mean you're gay. <laughs> So he's just, he, he probably fucking created a character. He probably created a character like the fucking Sims, okay? He might have completely fucking made that guy up. <laughs> like, you can't, my boy had a crop top on. And, what? What is this motherfucker talking about right now? 
Yeah, the hell y'all talking about? Y'all niggas, shut the fuck up. You niggas, you niggas that wasn't, that ain't at the show. That's a laugh of insecurity if I've ever seen one in my life. He's nervous and you can tell. You niggas that wasn't, that ain't at the show. <laughs> <laughs> he had a crop top. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, are you fucking kidding me right now? So fucking ignorant, like... He doesn't even fucking realize it. The show, the show is for the niggas who paid the money and, and took the time out of their life. No cell phones allowed at the shows anymore. To come enjoy the show. No, it's for the people who's not sick and di sucking dick out in the parking lot. It's not for HIV or AIDS, and it's not for women whose pussy does not smell like water. Continue. Not you motherfuckers watching it on the internet at the crib. No, nigga, just get you. Motherfucker, the internet is why you're famous. Continue. The tickets and come fuck with the live show killer gay or straight don't let these motherfuckers but don't put your cell phone lotto you can't participate it's a hell. I, I say if you don't got AIDS put a cell phone light up mm. I say if you ain't suck dick in the parking lot put your cell phone lights up so I could drop my next song I bitch what <laughs> That, yeah, yeah, that's what you fucking said. That's the point. God, I just, I can't with this motherfucker. He even still admitted that he said, yeah, I said, if you ain't got AIDS, put a light up. What about the people who do have AIDS? <laughs> they can't participate, sorry. Oh my God. Live perform on the last show, killer. You interact with your fans, you get what I'm saying? Not like that. Because you could have had fans that were gay. You could have. I'm more. You did have fans that were gay. Probably had fans that had AIDS or HIV. Uh, probably had fans that pussy is. They're probably on their period, so it might t like taste. Oop, I don't know what that tastes like. Probably smells like blood more than water. But continue. Look, all the lights went up. Gay, straight. You want to know why? Because even my gay fans don't got fucking AIDS. Stupid ass niggas. You don't know that. <laughs> Why? Like, he's making up these stupid ass fucking excuses. Like, take a. I, I hate people that can't take accountability for what the fuck they did or said. This motherfucker's just trying to stay in the position that he's in, and he doesn't fucking deserve it. They don't got AIDS. My gay fans, they take care of themselves. They ain't going for that. They ain't, they ain't no nasty gay niggas. You know what I'm saying? They ain't no junkies. You know what I'm saying? On the street. Man, yeah, you talking about, nigga? Then I said, so if you got AIDS, you're out on the street. <laughs> you ain't suck dick in the rolling loud parking lot. Put your cell phone light up. You know what my gay fans did? Put that motherfucking light up, nigga. Because my gay fans, they ain't got niggas. They ain't going for that. They got class, nigga. They ain't sucking no dick in no parking lot, nigga. You got to get a room, nigga. A good one. Five star. This motherfucker is backtracking like crazy. Oh my god. I'm not getting a fucking five star hotel to suck dick. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. <laughs> too much. <laughs> it's too much. I'll just do it out in the parking lot. It's fucking cheaper than that. I would very much well rather suck dick in a parking lot <laughs> than in a five star hotel. A five star hotel. You know how much that is a night? Let's, let's look it up. Hotels. To suck dick near me. How to find other guys who will let me suck them? Okay. Oh, okay. She sucked dick. Okay. That obviously didn't go in the place that I wanted to. Um, just hotels near me. That's fine. Okay, so let's see. Let's go to some top rated. So, to suck dick, these ain't even five stars. <laughs> okay, so the closest one is uh 4.5 stars and it's a hundred and six dollars a night sorry can't do it i'm absolutely not going to pay for a five star hotel just to suck dick a hotel for them oh goddamn yeah you gotta wait till they go to the crib nigga they ain't just gonna be out here just oh oh thank god all right i can stay at my house and do it thank god <laughs> Whew. even my gay fans got standards y'all niggas tripping y'all nigga tripping y'all bringing negative attention and energy 
upon yourselves in the No, you did. That's why everybody's fucking mad at you. <laughs> shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck Don't up. Don't be disturbing my motherfucking gay fans and goddamn making them feel uncomfortable and they skin. You literally fucking did that. Yourself. Yourself. <laughs> Yourself. Cause you done got them seen some shit that you wasn't supposed to see anyway. You better think rolling loud for streaming the shit. You ain't supposed to see that shit anyway. You ain't Bitch what? Bitch what? What you mean we ain't supposed to see that shit? And rolling loud was streaming it. Bitch what? Shit don't concern y'all. Shit concern the niggas that was dumb. Gay or straight or goddamn both. Or whatever all that shit, man. Don't none of that shit. Or whatever all that shit is. Did you cut yourself short there, buddy? Did you cut yourself short there, buddy? Yeah, I would fucking do that too. If you're ignorant. It matter to me. What matter to me when I'm on that stage is putting on the show for any and everybody that's out there. Nah, buddy. It don't matter to you because you're a fucking a straight guy who does not give a shit, and you're part of a minority who made fun of another minority. So, congratulations, you're a fucking dickhead. And that's what the fuck I did. But ask my boy who was in the crop top on the front row. I Go fuck him. yourself. No, you fucking didn't. You fucking made him up. <laughs> you made him up. The baby is homophobic. Oh, no, dumb jokes, that comes to mind. That's not a joke. People are so fucking dumb. Like, what the what the fuck is wrong with people? It's not a- what? A joke? Alright, shout out to Chris Song for actually posting this video. Finally fucking found, like, that part. The most comfortable boxers you'll ever fuck wear. Fuck yeah. Your junk will look beastly in these. Okay. I doubt it. Another controversial artist was rapper The Baby. He had so many controversial moments within his performance. And one of those moments were when he decided to bring out rapper Tory Lane. I got a million dollars right now if you can guess who. Four times, stunner, who you think? Who? It's okay, they stole this video, that's why they keep pausing it, so I'm gonna steal theirs. It's fine. Troy Lane? So, what was up with Troy Lane? What did he do? What did Troy. Lane. How the fuck you spell his name? Oh, okay, I'm just dyslexic. Carrying a concealed weapon in a vehicle, not allegedly. Not for allegedly shooting Megan. Wait, what? With a felony count of assault with a semi automatic uh, firearm, personal use of firearm, as well as carrying a loaded, unregistered. So. Wait, he shot Megan? <laughs> According to a recent latest Instagram live, Megan claimed that she was in Lane's car with him. His bodyguard her and her friend and the four were arguing. Megan, who was in the front seat, left the car. She alleged that Lane shot her through the car's back window. Shot her? Megan insisted the rumors she had hit Lane's she had hit Lane's were bogus. She also said that the shooting didn't relate to Lane's perpetrated romantic issues in Kylie Jenner, according to TMZ. Megan originally told the cops that she had cut her foot on glass. So he shot at her feet? When LA prosecutors didn't give many details in the press release announcing charges against Lane's, their statement on the case appe appeared to minor Megan's claims. The defendant and a 24-year-old victim got to an argument while riding in the SUV in the Hollywood Hills. The victim exited the vehicles and Peterson is accused of shooting several times at her feet and wounding her. Uh, for no reason. Okay, Megan said he did it for no reason. I guess I don't fucking know. Okay, then on September 24th, he s tweeted. He tweeted. He tweeted to my fans. I'm sorry for my silence, but respectfully, I got time today. Fans assumed he was heading into Instagram Live finally to tell a side of the story, but at midnight, Daystar, a surprise album, dropped online. Oh. Uh, There's a time to stay silent, he tweeted, and a time to speak. I said all I could say on this. So he's. <laughs> Let me fucking take Troy Lanes out, by the way. He used his his violence to promote his new fucking album. <laughs> he said, I ain't gonna tell y'all if I shot at her or not because I, I'm making it look more like I did. But, uh, download my album, listen to my album, and you can get the answer here. My album 
bitch. On the bright side of things, the baby will give you a show. He will bring the high energy, he will bring the fun, he will bring the excitement, and he will put the E in entertainment. And he did just that despite the controversy. At the end of the day, he will not have the crowd standing around like the Coyle Ray crowd during her performance. Pick a side, pick a side. Okay, fuck, of, fuck Statue of Society for fucking blowing that shit over. Okay. Yeah, so, fuck you. Oh, at least he can entertain! I'm sorry that I gave you a view. Here we go. This motherfucker. Alright. If, 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 if homosexuals have more right than heterosexual people, just say that. <laughs> what? <laughs> if homosexuals have more rights than heterosexuals, just say that. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> God damn. I just can't. I, I can't even. Bro, we've only been able to be married. Like in 2016, right? 2015. We've only been able to marry since 2015. Uh, still, there's people that don't want to fucking marry gay couples. So, like, I don't, I feel like I don't even, I don't even have to go down the line of the shit that we can't fucking do in public. We can't hold hands in public without people fucking staring. Especially where I live in Alabama. Like, shut the fuck up with that bullshit. Fucking read, stop talking about shit you do not have any fucking idea about. Homosexuals have more rights than heterosexual people. They just say that. Let's let that be the law. Is that the law? I just... What a I fucking feel... idiot. If he wasn't, like, already a piece of shit by now, fuck him. Like, I respect, I respect gays, especially the... No, you fucking don't. You just, you just fucking insulted them. Motherfuckers are so quick to go back on their, what they just motherfuckers, like on these backhanded ass fucking compliments like this motherfucker the ones who have the courage and the bravery to step out and live in their truth you know I mean I no. respect that what the fuck no, you, don't. you don't give a shit about it you don't you really fucking don't you don't <laughs> you do not Stop fucking trying to pretend like you do just to get your fucking clout, just to keep your clout, just to do all that bullshit. Stop. Because you fucking don't. You don't respect it at all. So stop fucking pretending like you do. And live your true life. Any human being, man, walking this earth who has the bravery and the courage to live their truth unapologetically. This motherfucker literally bullshit. Like, this motherfucker literally, literally just just in the first fucking minute pretty much insulted the lgbt community i mean like oh they get more rots than heterosexuals and then he was like oh but live your like everything you just said was completely fucking no one influenced you to say that like nothing influenced you to say the shit you just said and now you're backtracking within a minute of what the fuck you said i respect that no you don't but that, I, I respect it the same way if you're a heterosexual person. I respect I respect it the same way. So I don't even see what the, what all the hoopla about. Some of y'all motherfuckers just be up in arms and fake caring about shit just because you ain't got shit else going on. Holy fucking shit. Talking about calling the kettle black. You just fucking did that. You just fucking did that, dude. <laughs> I cannot even. I we're a minute and 19 seconds in, and the amount of fucking hypocrisy. <laughs> Is that a word? Your life away. You did. Ain't nothing in the world gonna make me hate nobody just because they do something different in the bedroom than I do. Ain't but you don't give a fuck about it. Like you might not give a shit about it, but you like that's the fucking point. You got so much to fucking say about it. Ain't none of my business. Ain't none of my business. Zero. But you still rap about it, and it's none of our business. So you just fuck. Okay. Give a damn what you doing? What you do? Oh, yeah. But don't do it around me. He's about to say, but don't do it around me. Typical fucking <laughs> homophobic statement. I don't care what you do, just don't do it around me. Oh, you love your genitalia, your period. I don't give a damn. Fuck, I can't. 
Why people want to like? Who asked me? Who asked you, motherfucker? You on my motherfucking line? So, <laughs> like they're already coming after him. <laughs> who asked you? Like exactly? What the fuck is you talking about? Ask me, motherfucker. You motherfucker feel like you can goddamn get on here and goddamn express your opinions and say what the fuck you want to say, but because people are celebrities, they just supposed to shut the fuck up. What? Motherfucker, y'all get the most say so. <laughs> like, y'all get the most say so. This is the fucking point. Any other average Joe can get away with this shit. I mean, seemingly untouched, right? Unless it's like goes viral or some shit like that. But y'all motherfuckers, like, y'all got such a fucking following. You're gonna be heard all the fucking time and constantly. So go fuck yourself on out. Get the fuck out of here. You just got mad because you're wrong. What's <laughs> wrong with you? I mean, it's just not realistic, but like I said, man, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of respect for motherfucker like look for uh, Lil Nas X and no. motherfucker like Frank Ocean, you know what I mean? No. Motherfucker who step out there and live their truth. Honest with themselves. You did? A lot of you motherfuckers out there hiding your truth. And that's that's the whole shit. That's what's not respectable. It, it, it wouldn't be the fact that you're gay. It would be the fact that you, man, you out here front. That's not what he said, though. So you're going off on a completely different topic that, that doesn't make sense. Also, there's people that literally could get killed, <laughs> get their asses kicked, get kicked out of their fucking house for just being who they are. So the fact that they're hiding it, they might have a fucking reason. So they don't have your respect because they're scared of their well-being. Got you. You get the energy that you put out there. I don't care who it is. Like, is that why your energy sent you to jail so many times? That's why you have, you know what I'm saying, such a strong feminist movement. It's going to be uh, 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 overly directed in the area of feminism because of all the years that it was overly masculine. You get the energy. What? You get the energy that you put out <laughs> <laughs> that awkward ass fucking stare. Okay, sorry. You can't make me homophobic because I'm proud to be a heterosexual. You can't make nobody homophobic because they, just because I am proud of what I am don't make me hate what you are. Period. Period, bruh. You know what I mean? You can't got... Ain't no way to tangle or twist that, bruh. Ain't no way to tangle... I want to know why this is cut up a little bit. But twist that. Ain't no hate. If I'm proud to be black, that don't make me hate you because you white. If I'm proud to be a man, that don't make me hate you because you're a woman. I like how the first half of his video was bullshit. <laughs> and then now, like, he's saying some pretty, pretty real stuff. But it's I feel like it's because people are coming onto his live and saying shit. And it's redirecting his course. <laughs> That's what I feel like this is. Period. Because he thought he was going to come out here and get praised, and I feel like his love was like, no, no, you're wrong. For instance, the little Nas X shit, the performances and video, man, I got a lot of respect for bro because, I, like I said, he had, you know, he had the courage to live his truth, but that shit ain't for me. It just ain't for me. I ain't got no bit of looking at it. I, don't, I just can't look at it. It ain't for me. Don't do it around me. Right? But I feel the same way. It sounds like an insecurity, but... Okay. <laughs> I'm literally with a man, and if you show me like a naked female, I'm not gonna say, oh, I can't look at that. Ew, gross. Uh, uh. Let's be real. You're insecure, and that's okay. And I don't want my children seeing it. There it is. <laughs> there it is. But I have grown up around so many families that their dads, their straight dads, literally encourage the way that they themselves treat women for instance they talk about like okay me growing up my dad would talk about women like women in front of me and i knew like from a young age i'm like this isn't like this doesn't really appeal to me and i didn't know what it was at at, at the time being hell i was real fucking young but it didn't appeal to me and as time went on i'm like oh fuck well i guess that I like guys more than I like girls. And I say I like guys more than I like girls because I'm demisexual. Uh, I'm not really sure if I've openly said that, like, on on here. I might have. I, I feel like I have, but 
I'm demisexual. It's pretty much where you fall in love with a character, where a person's character, personality, and shit. But I am more, I am more attracted to men. It's like they encourage that type of behavior, and then you got people like this, this motherfucker right here, that's like, oh, I don't want it around my kids. Okay, so if you start encouraging a certain sexuality, then you are embedding in that child's head that that's the way that they are supposed to think. It's as simple as that. So, in my case, I don't give a fuck if it's a male or a female. Like, if they're attractive, then, like, I'm going to find them attractive. Not like, oh, I want a relationship with them. But it's just how, what my mind is. I find certain features attractive. So, there's a way to, <laughs> to do that without pushing your sexuality on your kids. I bet this motherfucker, just like damn Kevin Hart, would say like, oh, I don't want my kids being gay. And that's fucked up. Like, let your kids be who the fuck they are. They're, and people's like, oh, I don't want to sexualize my kids. Don't fucking sexualize your kids then. Don't fucking do it. But your kids need to learn who the fuck they are. That's what I mean. Or they're going to go down the fucking mental illness path. Like, it, it's ridiculous. These fucking double standards are so fucking absurd. Either. I don't want my children seeing it. You know what I mean? Because their minds haven't, haven't, haven't developed to the, to the place where they can wrap their minds around those type of experience and those types of uh, visual presentations and know how to sort it out within their, their, their perception. But as they're growing up, they're learning. So I'm not saying introduce your kids to that. I mean, I don't know how, how, old, how old your fucking kids are. I knew that I was different at like fucking 14 years old, so, and I'm, and your mind doesn't fully develop until you're, uh, you're like 21 or some shit, right? 21, 20, 20, 16, so there's a 5 and a 13 year old. So he's got like older fucking kids. The youngest one is 5. Above that, they're all like above 10 years, so they already know what the, who the fuck they are and what the fuck they want to do. There's no like... Stopping it from this point, I don't give a fuck what other people say. Stop using your kids as a fucking out. Stop. But I feel the same way about the WAP video. I actually enjoyed the WAP video a little bit better. But I still feel the same way. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. But if you're going to have a WAP video, you're going to damn sure have a little Nas X video. And if you're going to have a little Nas X a uh, 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 video and him living his truth you gonna damn sure have people like the baby who gonna speak their truth and it ain't nothing wrong with none of it no but you're in a public fucking setting like at least pretend to be open minded at least be willing to learn more and not talk shit about certain communities y'all are backtracking and it's fucking disgusting I don't understand people let's see if there's any like response or anything Baby apologized for his homophobic rant that left Elton John shocked. Amid mounting public outrage and what I wish there was a way that I could let other things read this because I'm too fucking lazy. Amid mounting public outrage and harsh criticism for Elton from Elton John and Dua Lipa, is that I'm just gonna I'm sorry. I'm sorry ahead of time. Rapper the Baby has apologized for his homophobic remarks at Sunday's Rolling Loud Music Festival in Miami. After initially doubling down on his offensive behavior and dismissing his detractors, the hip-hop artist acknowledged Tuesday that his widely condemned comments about gay people and HIV and AIDS were insensitive. He did not respond to the backlash surrounding his choice to invite Canadian rapper Troy Lanez on stage shortly after Grammy winner Megan The Stallion performed. Lanes was charged last year with shooting Megan The Stallion with the semi-automatic firearm. What's that rifle? Anybody who done ever been affected by wait? Oh, anybody who done been affected by AIDS or HIV, y'all got the right to be upset. What I said was insensitive, even though I have no intentions of offending anybody. So my apologies, but the LGBT community, I ain't tripping on y'all. Do you? Y'all business is y'all's business. Other than that, y'all cheer the fuck up and be proud of who you are because you can't make me feel less of myself. He added, blah, blah, blah. Before and after issuing a brief apology, the baby attempted to redirect the conversation to police brutality. Oh, fuck you. And the Black Lives Matter movement. Black Lives Matter doesn't need you. Challenging his critics to show the same amount of support when a racist cop kills one of our black asses.
So, I mean, they are, and that's the reason why. Like, and it pisses me off that he's, like, leaning on Black Lives Matter because I'm a fucking huge goddamn supporter of Black Lives Matter. Huge fucking supporter. And he's... It's like if... It's like if fucking, um somebody that I work with goes up to Dakota, punches him in the mouth, and then comes up to me and tries to be my friend, and he's like, oh no, that was just like, that was just me punching it. Like, that's my boyfriend, don't fucking, it, that, that's what it makes me feel like. Like, don't, don't bring something good into this, like, situation that you, like, that's bad. You, you, you you're a fucking idiot, and you are ignorant towards the, the HIV and AIDS LGBT community, um, women's pussy who don't smell like water, you're being <laughs> insensitive. Uh, I don't even like that word, insensitive. You're just being ignorant and you're being a dickhead. So, don't bring something good like Black Lives Matter into your situation because it's completely fucking unrelated. Twitter was not having it accusing the rock star hitmaker of using black trauma as, there we go, exactly what I just fucking said, as a shield to dodge accountability for his actions, which includes shaming gay men for <clears throat> oral sex and blaming them for the spread of HIV and AIDS. Uh, I didn't really see that part. I don't really see it as that part, but to each their own. Why are you bringing up police brutality to deflect? There we go. One person tweeted, Very strange. There are hundreds of thousands of people fighting for black people's lives every day, helping and doing more than you will ever do. How much of a professional victim must you be to blame your actions on everyone else? Yep. What does police brutality have to do with the fact that you made shitty comments about the LGBTQIA plus? You got no respect for anyone Why you expect people to respect you. Several argue that the baby's calls to support the black community rank especially hollow. Yeah. Elton John said, We've been shocked to read about the HIV misinformation and homophobic statements made at a recent The Baby Show. This fuels stigma and discrimination and is the opposite of what our world needs to fight the AIDS epidemic. The facts are HIV, misinformation, and homophobia have no place in the music industry. We must break down the stigma around HIV and not spread it. As musicians, it's our job to bring people together. Absolutely. AIDS isn't just in fucking men, by the way. Putting HIV and AIDS hand in hand with home, like with the LGBT community, it's not a good look, fam. I'm surprised and horrified at the baby's comments. I really don't recognize this as the person I worked with. Levitating, that's what it was. Statement Tuesday. I know my fans know where my heart is. And I was 100% with the LGBT community. We need to come together and fight the stigma and ignorance around that. Yep. Absolutely. The baby has been the number one enemy on the internet week. And the, on the inner week. Following the controversial set rolling loud over the weekend from a fallout of his homophobic rant targeting the LGBTQ plus and the HIV slash AIDS communities. One of his fashion collaborators and Boohoo Man won't be working with him any longer in the future. The Charlotte, okay. Boohoo Man condemned the use of homophobic language and confirmed we will no longer be working with the baby. Diversity and inclusion are part of the Boohoo groups and DNA and we're proud ourselves for representing the diverse customers we serve across the globe. That's what's up. He's trying to use the Black Lives Matter as a fucking, like, as a deflection, and it's disgusting. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, <laughs> and nothing was even said. And he just randomly, like, that's what's getting me. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them dead essential transmitted diseases that'll make you die two, three weeks, put a cell phone like that That's the one I'm more annoyed about. Lady, if your pussy smell like water. Put a cell phone light in the air. Fellas. Lights up. Fellas, if you ain't sucking nigga dick in the parking lot, put your cell phone lights in the air. Let's be up. real about that shit. Just keep it fucking real. Some of y'all niggas suspect as a motherfucker. Let's be real. And then he nodded his head like he was agreeing with everything that was being fucking said. I was about to say, well, at least he's not saying that, yeah, some of y'all are suspect. But then he said, yeah, suspect is hell. And then he said, no, he's still, like, let's be and real. Nigga, and then he's... Let's be real about that. And he said, let's be real. And then he was like, some of y'all are suspect. And then he nods his head, yeah. Let's be real about this shit. Yeah, keep it fucking real. Some of y'all niggas suspect as a motherfucker. Let's be real. See? Not on his fucking head. That's okay, though. I just wanted to see some of the information for myself. Thank you for watching this wherever, however, whenever you watch. 
Uh, I don't do these reactuals quite often, but I might start doing them a little bit more often in the next 10 days since my boyfriend has COVID. Follow me on Instagram, uh, obviously Twitch, obviously Facebook, YouTube. Get off my fucking face now. But I'm going to end it here, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Goodbye. Bye.